Churchgoers are among those applauding the president's relaxation of the COVID-19 preventative measures, which increased the number of people allowed to gather to 150. The Macedonia Parish gathered again after a long break with the aim of paying tribute to COVID-19 victims. We were really devastated because of the death of people that, um, for me it was very difficult because I, I was like every day at the burial site um, having uh, to bury my people and me myself being also a covert victim, uh, it was not easy. Uh, and seeing how many people are going and, uh, and dying, it was not easy. So uh, I felt like you are in a desert, left alone, you, you, you don't know where to go, but really God kept us going in one or the other way. Uh, the faith that we are really in, this Christian faith is, is, is giving you the strength to do the impossible that you yourself do not believe that you are doing it. The choir sang songs of comfort while praising and worshipping God. We've, we've gone through rough patches but we remained standing. Why we remain standing in, in Solidio Gloria is uh, um, the, 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 the seed which was planted 34 years ago in this same congregation, Macedonia, by um, late uh, Siririka and many other people who, who passed by, um, who passed on, really made us to stand firm because the motto was a mustard seed. And a mustard seed is a very small seed of all the seeds. And um, it grew bigger when it was planted. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's a faith that kept us, kept us to live up to today. It's a very good choir because really they, it keeps us even out of the, uh, the street and these other things that we are not supposed to do in, in the areas like in Katetura, wherever we live. So. I'm very happy for being in this choir until this time because really God is with us and without God we're supposed to be in a very wrong place. At the same occasion, the Solida Gloria Choir also celebrated its 34th anniversary. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Venduk.